So today I'm working on a check valve for an antique engine for the fuel system. Uh, I've been running the engine for a number of years just by filling the priming bowl and uh, I've got a lot of hours running it that way both with a, uh, a cordwood buzz saw and a, a water pump and I figure it's time to add a proper fuel tank and that involves a check valve of some kind so I'm putting one together out of a couple of uh, quarter inch um, compression unions and uh, some quarter inch uh, OD soft copper tubing. Um, you can see the uh, this one's been modified a bit. I've, I've sliced it up there so that the uh, the check ball, which is a ball bearing, won't seal it off when it uh, ends up on the seat there. Otherwise, no fuel would come up the line and and be available to the engine. So. On the other side, I've got the compression nut, and I've soldered a screen in there, which I'll hope to show you here with the white background. I soldered a screen in there, and it's uh, captured with, I think that's a, uh, a, a grommet, uh, part of a grommet there that's just holding the screen in place. So the, the check, bell, uh, check ball, the ball bearing, sits in the compression nut and then uh, I'll thread that in get it to where it's loose enough and I'll, I'll solder that so this is the part that sits in the tank so on the bottom I've again uh, cut it there so that it sits if it's touching the bottom of the tank and there's a bit of debris it won't seal off there so fuel can still get in I'll solder that there you can see the ball is free to move around you can probably hear it so then further up, we're going to take the uh, lid that goes on the gas tank and I'm going to uh, put this uh, compression union into the lid. And you can see I've, I've just taken the threads off the outside to clean up the look of it a bit, but that doesn't really matter. But So I'll solder that in and I'm going to slip this in. I'll set the height right in the tank. And then I'll solder this to the lid. So that'll be one piece, one unit, and the ball will be still loose to move around. I can thread this into the fuel tank, and there will still be a little bit of a, uh, a stub on here that again I can use a compression fitting and run my fuel line from there. There is a bit of a cardboard gasket that will also go in here to help uh, seal against the tank. I have to say I've never seen one of these um, in an original engine. I've never seen how it was supposed to be done. So this is uh, just a, hopefully a serviceable version that uh, probably is not what, uh, what they originally would have done. But who knows? It's the best I can do. So hopefully it works. All right, so that's what we have now. Um, wasn't coordinated enough to do the soldering and uh, the filming at the same time so I went ahead and soldered it up and you can see what we've got here. So the tube is uh, now soldered into that compression fitting that I've removed the threads from. I think that looks a little cleaner on the top. Uh, the cardboard gaskets underneath there. I soldered the compression nut uh, uh, to this other uh, compression union, quarter inch compression union and the ball bearing is in there and the screen in the bottom and you can hear it's all loose. and So that's really a finished assembly. I'm going to put it uh, in the tank and hopefully the engine is going to be uh, happy with this. Yeah, so the engine is a Fairbanks Morse uh, 3 horse Z. So maybe I'll show you that running if this works out. If not, it'll go into file 13. So I decided to change up the way I'm doing the uh, fittings on this. I originally had it set up with the tube coming through and I was going to put a compression fitting on there and just decided uh, I wanted to have a little less jewelry on this end of the, the tube and make it a little cleaner. So I ended up uh, yeah, fussing with a couple of fittings to make what I could have got done in one fitting. But anyway, use what you got. So here it is. Um, I think if I did it again, I'd go with a flare fitting on this end. Uh, I don't know if anybody would know how this was originally. I've never seen one, so if somebody does know how this would have been done, uh, please leave it in the comments. I'm, I'm really curious. So this is uh, intended for a Fairbanks Morse 
uh, three horse Z or Z engine. And uh, like I said, I'd like to know how they did this originally and what it would have looked like. So yeah, please let me know.